The other thing he mentioned was close the window. So this was a really common theme that we that we saw on camp was that there was a, a lot of swimmers who were finishing too wide from their body with their with their press back. So if you're looking at this left image here, we had a lot of swimmers who were, were out too wide when they were just about to finish off past the hip. And so the, the phrase, the way he talked about it was close the window. So by closing the window, and you can see it here on this right side, you wanna get your upper arm and your elbow in fairly close to your side. So the last uh, bit of, of the pull can come right past your hip there. If it's out this wide, then the hand's always gonna come in towards the hip and you're gonna get very little propulsion from this last part of your stroke. Now, I don't recommend emphasizing the back of your stroke too much. I, I see some swimmers trying to push back very hard and with a lot of force. Um, that's not necessary. It is good to finish past the hip, but don't try and put too much power into that. But as long as you're closing this window, so get the upper arm, the elbow, close into the side here, so you can then finish off past the hip, that's gonna give you so much more out of the stroke than if you're coming wide here. Now you can actually see in this left image here how the swimmer's arm is quite bent. So he hasn't got this straight, he's not out in front with it. And it can be a number of different things causing that, but not having this window closed with this hand coming towards the hip, that can be one thing that's going to cause this arm to not get to full extension. Compare that to the image here on the right of Clayton, you can see that right arm's at full extension, this left hand's just pressing, going to be able to press back, and that allows him to reach forwards there. All right, so those two things uh, work together, which we'll have a look at in a moment.